just as uh, we are opening this session, first of all, let me thank all the students uh, who have joined in on short notice. I know we immediately communicated this morning and we already have a bunch of you eager to go ahead with this program. We appreciate that. Uh, we also appreciate the fact that you have taken the weekend to try and do a lot of things uh, in terms of uh, uh, getting this done. And uh, today's webinar that is being led by uh, the e-learning director, Dr. Rakemo, who is going to speak to us shortly, is earmarked to assist us become even better and also assist us, as the deputy director has said, be trainers of our colleagues, because that's how we become better. So at this point, let me just take this opportunity to officially invite Daktari and uh, ask him to take it away. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Edgar. And I also uh, would like to uh, thank you very much, uh, students, for making time for this very critical uh, engagement uh, as part of our preparations to uh, have uh, successful online uh, uh, exams. Uh, a candidate is at the heart of all this, and that's why uh, we have been engaging over the weekend and even before and now during this webinar, so that um, you are able to play your part uh, when we commence online exams on 19th. First and foremost, I would like to um, uh, mention that it is not anyone's wish that uh, uh, you know you are made to do exams online, uh, which has requirements that uh, are a bit different from what you are used to including uh, a laptop and uh, internet and so on and so forth. And of course the training that we are giving you. Uh, these, these kind of exams are unique, but we are not alone. Uh, this is what every other university is doing. And if you look at it uh, critically, it's in the best interest of the student or the candidate. Uh, otherwise, uh, the lecturers and uh, these other stakeholders could just sit and wait and uh, offer you exams when they are, when, when uh, it is possible. But uh, the university wants to hold an, an, a virtual uh, graduation ceremony uh, sometime in uh, very soon. I would not want to, 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 to mention a date or, 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 or anything like that. But uh, we are all aware that. Uh, uh, there is a planned graduation uh, ceremony as soon as it is possible. And what will make it possible is uh, partly the online exams we are about to conduct so that we have people to graduate when that day comes. So uh, our prospective uh, candidates uh, for these uh, online exams, uh, I want to encourage you uh, to work very hard and uh, do whatever that uh, you are is expected of you, including finding a, a right the right device, making arrangements to have internet, and making uh, yourself psychologically prepared for this, as well as reading for 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 for, for the uh, supplementary and special exams that are are starting uh, on 19th, so that at the end of the day. Uh, you will be, you know, done with this uh, and so that you are able either to proceed to the next year without any, you know, uh, failed exams or to be eligible to graduate if you have reached that stage. So I call upon you to be committed. It is a departure from what we are used to. But as I say, that's what every, every other university is, is doing. So it's about making sacrifices just so that uh, we are able to, to um, uh, get, get moving, so that you're able to graduate on time, and then so that your, co your colleagues who are finishing, uh, graduating from other universities don't have an advantage uh, by finishing early and starting to look for, for, for jobs and positioning themselves strategically to, to exploit opportunities that are around. So having said that, um, uh, I want now to, very specifically um, highlight uh, the expectations we have of you now and during the, the, the exam period. 
I, I would like us to take the shortest time possible so that you have a chance to uh, ask uh, one or two questions and so that uh, uh, we can finish this and you continue conducting your doing your mock and and, and uh, preparing making other preparations for for the exam so um uh, the 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 online exams are going to be a bit unique from what you are used to but not 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 different in terms of uh, what the uh, exams the purpose that ex exams serve and the purpose is to examine if you have understood content that uh, you have been taken through by your lecturers and uh, and and uh, examining you know uh, whether you 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 pass or 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 you fail again so that is the primary purpose of any exam and equally that is the pub the primary purpose of this online exam and so much as it is online uh, the lecturers and, and the university seeks to know whether you understood mm -hmm. content so uh, preparation for the exam is like face to face in terms of uh, you know reading and, and understanding what you're supposed to 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 do but the questions will not be written on paper you might be required to do so uh, uh, but in this particular uh, exam session that we are preparing you uh, towards we expect that you are able to answer these questions online and it means that you will be doing this from home or from wherever you you are but in order for us to know whether you have failed or passed we have to ensure that we secure your exam environment uh, your physical exam environment is there is there for in a way made available to us to interrogate and assess whether you you met the, the the minimum requirements to do a university level exam what i mean is uh, you shall be invigilated online but you will be doing it from wherever you you are and because it is from wherever you are therefore there is the expectation that you will need a device for you to access those questions and answer provide answers and also a means of connecting with us which is internet so you must have a laptop and you must also be prepared to have internet during that during that time and not any laptop and not any device i think in the post that we shared to our dear candidates you saw that we require you to have a laptop standard laptop run is running windows 8 and above uh, if it is running old versions of windows you may have a lot of challenges uh, because this is uh the proctoring tools we are using the system we are using to invigilate you is an international uh, uh, solution that is used a uh, world over and it is uh, current and therefore the devices that have been accommodated are current laptops can current operating system so if you have an older version of operating system kindly make arrangements go to a cyber or find someone to upgrade it for you so it's not just any laptop it is a, a laptop that is a, a, a good laptop that can uh, run uh, you know windows 8 and above uh, and as much as possible make it optimal you know uh, scan it for viruses or remove other background uh, uh, applications that you may not require during that time so that your laptop functions uh, optimally all right yeah fortunately during the exam the screen is locked down so uh, in a way technically uh, other applications cannot be be running at the same time so uh, in terms of internet again you have to figure out which uh, network is strong in your end you may also need to move to a, a nearest uh, town or go stay with a relative mm -hmm. or if you are not in a locked uh, up uh, county uh, where i mean a county where there is a lockdown then you can even move to kisi or for those who are around you can you can you can find a suitable place where you can uh, uh, do this exam and and access those things that i have mentioned so that is technically your responsibility and uh, in, in in this particular arrangement so try to make sure that uh, uh, you you don't you make the right arrangements and don't rely on someone who will, who will let you down if it's somebody's wi-fi 
uh, make sure that you have an alternative in the event that it is not available. Uh, if you have to do it in a cyber, uh, make sure that it is a reliable cyber and, and not in a noisy place. I will describe that to you shortly in a place that is convenient. If you have to, you know, some, some, some uh, student contacted me and said he will hire a laptop in a cyber, that's okay. Uh, and, and, and pay per hour, you know, uh, per minute, sorry, uh, whatever arrangement that uh, you can have. Uh, kindly make arrangements that favor you so that at the end of the day uh, you are not uh, prevented from undertaking the exam because of the device or because of internet or because of not accessing a suitable physical environment. Um, uh, so if you have if you have a device and internet and you have figured out where you're going to do exams from, there are other things that we expect of you. Uh, even before that time comes. And this is for us to test uh, all these things that you have put in place for you to be able to do these online exams. And part of that is uh, meeting the financial requirements and being cleared by your COD and, uh, and, and, and uh, doing the mock exam on the learning management system and rehearsing on the exam system. Over the weekend, you have been doing rehearsal and I've just checked the system a short while ago and I've seen 250, over 250 have successfully conducted the online exam. Others who have been cleared uh, fees, uh, who, have, who have been cleared by finance, like School of Law in the exam system, I have seen 60%, which is quite encouraging because we started this uh, over the week, a day or two ago. But uh, with the extension that you have been given, you need to take advantage of that and test your device. And that device must be the same one you will use during the, the exam. And if you are going to change it, then you will have to do a mock exam again. We'll keep the system open. You can do the mock exam on the exam system. You can rehearse as many times as possible. When you suspect that the configurations of your system have changed, maybe somebody has installed a new operating system, somebody has... Um, uh, or, or, or the, the, the laptop has been changed and you have a different one, you are free to do rehearsal. We'll keep the system open, especially on the exam system, so that even on the material day in the morning or the previous day, we'll keep the system open so that you can be able to, to, to do the, the, the mock exam. So um, the, 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 the rehearsal and, and mock exam. But for now, we have timelines because we want to know who is a, prospect, who is a, a candidate who's ready and as the, the and as adequately prepared for it, so that we don't direct our energy to people who have probably decided to do this another time. So do not think that uh, it's okay to wait and do the rehearsal that morning. No, we will not be available to support you because we will actually be now focusing on administration of those exams. So this is the time for you to engage, uh, face all the the the, the hurdles until you get it right. So that morning you just wake, wake up, connect to the, to, the, to the examinations portal in a second, get on board and start answering questions. It will not be about testing your device and, 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 and familiarizing yourself uh, on how to maneuver and access the, the, the questions. So those preparations are critical and they are mandatory. So as I said, you must not assume that you can do them when uh, exams are uh, in, during the exams, like if you have uh, your first step on the third day, so you want to rehearse on the third day. No, kindly uh, engage with us now, uh, do the mock, uh, rehearse, and, and, and if, uh, hopefully you have paid fees and, and, and you have done uh, all the other uh, preparations. Technology can be very, um, uh, which word can I use? Uh, unpenetrative, you know? Uh, like uh, traditionally it is said that uh, like a Maasai guard or a Maasai watchman, uh, I hope I will not be accused of uh, uh, profiling uh, communities, but uh, there is this common uh, saying that, uh, you know, a proverbial watchman who will not even let the owner in if the owner told him that after 10 a.m., 
no visitor should be allowed through the gate. So even when the owner comes at that 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. or whatever agreed time, the Maasai, uh, the proverbial Maasai guard will tell him, sorry, I have instructions not to let you in. And so go away. And uh, however hard the owner of the premises will uh, persuade the watchman and tell them, oh, you know, uh, I am the one who gave you those instructions now, change them. No, 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 no. So I am using that example, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to analogize how computer systems work. If you have no access, you have no access. Whoever you are, uh, however genuine your case is, if it did not get addressed on time for you to be permitted to penetrate the system, you will not be able to penetrate the system. It will not, it will not even know that you are trying to do the right thing, all right? Because uh, uh, it doesn't know you in the first place. So that is why we have to suffer now, borrow a device and uh, do what we have asked you to do so that on that particular day, it is smooth. I can assure you it will not be smooth until you prepare and go through what we are asking you to go through now. Okay, uh, uh, so uh, beware and let us be ambassadors of uh, that of 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 of, of uh, uh, you know this mission. Carry that word, pass it across to your colleagues who have not uh, come on board. Uh, give them the, of course, they will listen to this recording, but tell them that uh, they they need to you know um, uh, move with speed. And, and, and do the mock and do anything that is expected of them before, before tomorrow. And rehearsal as we will uh, commence that tomorrow, again, we'll give you a timeline. So by Thursday, we have final rehearsal and Friday we will be doing other things and wait for exams next week. This weekend, we will not be uh, uh, preparing anyone for exams. We shall have finished that so that we can do other uh, you know, uh, uh, other preparations from our end. So, um, uh, candidates, I think uh, uh, you have a picture of what is expect of, uh, expected of you, and, and that's why we, we, we decided to engage with you today. Uh, and of course, we have been engaging you before and we'll continue to engage with you. But uh, uh, I, I, I hope that you have received the message and you have heard what is expected of, uh, of you. And, uh, and 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 uh, the value or the uh, the importance of you uh, understanding that and 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 following uh, the, the 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 preparations that we have recommended to you. So I think I will uh, open the space for uh, a few questions. Probably Edgar can also look at the public chat and uh, identify any. Anything that uh, I need to respond to, I think the deputy director is also on board, Mr. Gordon, and a few members of the technical team. They can help you address any issues that uh, you, you have so that uh, going forward, we are all, uh, we, we, we move smoothly. Uh, so, um, Edgar. Yes, Dr. Ari. I think uh, we can now invite uh, uh, comments and, and any form of reaction from our candidates uh, via uh, chat and, and you can see how you can figure out how we can also get them to ask questions directly to us so that uh, we are able to close all the gaps uh, that could be open right now as we prepare. Uh, that's correct, Dr. Ari. Uh, I can see several hands raised on uh, on Zoom. Before we just get to that, uh, just a, a quick uh, housekeeping. If you raise your hand, I will ask you to unmute and then uh, you will go ahead and ask uh, uh, your question. Once you ask the question, we will mute you again so that Dr. Ari can listen to the next person. After taking several questions, then he can respond to them as a batch. But before we go that direction, I'm just scanning through the, the chat. Uh, I have several questions. I'm going to pick at random. Those ones I imagine are a little bit relevant. Uh, someone is asking, Dr. Ari, how can I be cleared by the COD? Uh, what do I need to do exactly? 
uh, I'm assuming this is in, in prospect towards the main exam, not even the special, because I think the clearance for the special exams was already completed. So maybe the clear, you can just think about that. Uh, someone is asking, uh, yesterday as I was doing the mock exam, I answered four questions and then it locked me out by saying that I have completed my exam. I didn't understand why. Uh, you can have that on record. Uh, there's someone asking about mathematics students and how they will do that. I believe you'll touch slightly on that, Daktari. Uh, uh, again, there's a question on COD clearance. Someone is asking because they are in locked down counties. Uh, I believe this is an arrangement that will be done remotely. Uh, Daktari can also touch on that. Uh, someone is asking, eyes on the camera, yakuna kuangalia roof. Gifigiria, <laughs> that is more of a joke, but yes, eyes on the camera. The Kari will explain more and more, even during the mock exams, before you finish, you will have experienced this. Uh, just trying to see if I can reach the end before Dr. continues. Uh, there are several questions uh, touching on the COD clearance. So, uh, Dr. you will have that. Then there's someone asking if smartphones will work. I know you have emphasized that a lot. You can just do that again. Um, those who are saying they are unable to log into the e-learning system, it is an entire support team that has been dedicated to help you uh, log into this, including but not limited to even those who are struggling to log into the LMS first before you even get to the exam system. Uh, so yes, uh, you can you can be able to reach them with your specific problem because everybody has a different problem why they are not able to log into the system. Some in as a password, others it might be something else. So you can it's it's, a, it's on a case by case basis. So once you reach them with that, they will be able to assist you. And actually, you can go ahead with those ones as I take the last one. Thank you, thank you, uh, Edgar. If I forget one, kindly remind me. Yeah? Yes, uh, I wasn't recording anywhere. I was. Uh... Uh, capturing it in my in my in my limited memory. So um, uh, the first one is about clearance. Much as the university is, is uh, physically, you know, not operating physically, in quotes, uh, the university continues to function. So uh, uh, get in touch with your COD. Uh, get in touch with your the, the dean of students if there is a matter that touches on. Uh, on, on, on probably you know finance and bursary and whatever it is, uh, get in touch with your class reps. Get in touch with your uh, course lecturers. Maybe for the upcoming end of semester exams, uh, get in touch with any with, with everyone. If you cannot get hold of the COD for some reason, you can uh, also get in touch with the with the dean. But uh, we have made it very easy for you to communicate with us. Uh, the WhatsApp. Uh, groups that were open. That's actually a decision that uh, the university made so that we are able to uh, openly engage with you. So post a question, uh, but uh, also uh, be available to read what other questions our other students have inquired about so that you don't inquire, uh, you know, about something that has already been, been handled. Be active in those groups and also help each other. If your friend has figured something out, even as you inquire from a technical team, uh, staff, you can also figure out from them how they 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 uh, they, they, they maneuvered. So uh, get support. Uh, the university is running, uh, and and we have opened the system. You know who your dean is. You know who your COD is. You know who uh, the, you to, how to reach out to uh, Edgar and, and 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 dean of students and and your class reps. Let us engage. All these stakeholders are present in, in uh, on the WhatsApp walls. So let's exploit. Uh, those uh, communication official communication channels. Those are official communication channels. Engage with us. Uh, if if uh, an issue doesn't get resolved, sometimes the technical staff will, they will engage with you through your inbox. So you might think that something is unresolved, but it has actually been uh, resolved by by someone getting in touch with the student directly through the inbox. You can also uh, reach out to people. Uh, if if they need information, if they need you to inbox their you some information, just just do that. If they have been asked to do so, so that you also clear uh, uh, the the page of unnecessary personalized engagement. So I think that's okay. 
get get in touch with your CODs and they will sort you out and any other person that you think is critical. About um, uh, the, 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 the device that you need, it's a laptop. I've said that again and again, and that's why it's critical for you to test your device. Uh, respondents proctoring uh, system or tools are, are, are global. We have not developed those tools. We have um, integrated them in our examination uh, system. And the requirements for you to have a smooth ride have been defined for us, including the hardware and software. So just get a laptop and uh, make sure it is running Windows 7. Obviously, if it is running Windows 8, then, then the, the device is OK. Don't worry about speed and the like. You are sorted. If uh, it can run Windows 7, you have the right platform to have uh, Windows 8. Sorry, you can have the right platform to, to, to do your exams. If it is lower version, just upgrade. Uh, uh, upgrade so that you are safe. This is a university examinations and you want to finish. So some little sacrifice is, is, is needed. About uh, not able to access the learning management system. Uh, we are doing the mock on the LMS. The reason why we decided to do the university's data to do that, uh, that hap uh, happened so is most of you are already learning online. So you have accounts on the LMS. If you have forgotten, you can ask us to reset that password for you. It's the same password you have been using. Okay. So that, uh, that, that exam has been, uh, uh, has been um, uh, made available, you know, uh, in the LMS. But if you have challenges to access, you will be assisted. If you are trying to access the exam system, uh, most likely you will not be successful because we have not opened the system for all schools. Uh, and it doesn't mean that you, you have not been cleared. Uh, you are, you, either you have been cleared, but uh, by when we commence rehearsal tomorrow, all of you, when we commence rehearsal, we'll, we'll expect everyone to be in there in the exam system. And if you are not, again, uh, we, shall, we shall engage with you. But if you know you have may not met the requirements and uh, the CODs have even been sharing the lists of those people who have been cleared, if you are late, then uh, you, you don't even need to ask because we, we also do not, the system does not know you because uh, uh, even the COD did not, did not clear you probably because you forgot or something like that. And other than being cleared by the COD, finance also. Uh, is 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 uh, checking out for anyone who wants to do these exams, but has not that has fee balances. So those are some of the reasons why you may have challenges accessing the the systems. All right, but for now, as long as you have been cleared by your COD, you can undertake the online mock exam. It is in the system where you will not be able to to do it. For now, play around with your device and have fun with it. When we open this, the, we, when we start rehearsal uh, on the exam system. Uh, only those eligible candidates will be able to, to, to do that. But engage with us if you have challenges accessing the system. Uh, if you have never... ...never accessed the system, enter your registration. You are, uh, you are, you are registered. It's the right format. Some of you forget and put three digits in the middle or, 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 or less digits. Make sure that... Uh, it's the required number of digits. So start with make to make to make it uh, the standard format. Um, about uh, uh, the other the other question was um, on uh, uh, Edgar. Yes, doctor. Uh, I think there is something that has escaped my mind. Kindly remind me. Mm. I have raised the issue of clearance, the devices. Uh, 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 access uh, challenges. What was uh, the other? There was the recurrent question on uh, accessing the COD uh, for clearance by the COD and those who are uh, how to get cleared by the COD basically. But I believe that was that is a question that is affecting those who are looking to do the end semester exams. But you can just touch on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just continue. as I said, those are official channels we have opened for you to engage with the university. And in those WhatsApp groups, the CODs are there, you know them, class reps, deans, so continue to engage with them. But they are also sharing lists of those who have been uh, uh, cleared for these uh, suspension and supplementary exams. And I think that process is concluded now. So, so you should actually have that information. 
or get it from the, the class reps or other colleagues of yours, other classmates who, who are also looking forward to do these exams. The other clearance uh, for the upcoming end of semester exams, uh, you know what to do. Uh, uh, if you reported uh, sessions registered for units in the current semester and you have been learning online and face-to-face and -face before this happened, and uh, as usual, uh, you've cleared the fees, the, the normal process uh, continues and you'll be advised on, uh, uh, on any other thing that uh, will be done differently. But otherwise, uh, you need to meet all your requirements, having reported session and register units and gone to class. You need to pay all your fees. And uh, when you log in even through your, the, the student portal, you will be able to see the status, your status as regards undertaking exams, whether face-to-face -face or, or uh, online. Uh, but uh, if you need to talk to the social channels of engaging with us during uh, this period, besides email and, and, and other alternative uh, modes. Uh, I think there is a question that seems to have escaped my mind. There, is, there, there was a question on, uh, on math, those who are doing math, science-based courses, how they are going to do the exams. Correct. Correct. So the time to the updated timetable is going to be out shortly, I think uh, before end of day tomorrow, and it will be clear on uh, which courses, uh, which courses will be done and, and, and when. So if you see that uh, a course is on the timetable at a certain time, get ready for it. Get ready for it because it means that We have prepared to administer the documents that are being circulated uh, by large, mostly by uh, Edgar. So when the timetable comes out, it shall have answered all those those questions. You know which course is going to be taken, and 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 when it will be taken. And if it is missing, there is probably a reason why it is missing, and it may be offered to you uh, as soon as as soon as possible. Or you shall be communicated to on uh, when it will be offered. Uh, maybe not all of them will be offered in this uh, first phase, but just look at the timetable and, and be advised by the timetable that will be circulated. I think that's okay. Any other, any other? Uh, maybe maybe I, can, I can read just two or three more before we maybe take uh, one or two verbal questions uh, as we come to uh, the end. Uh, there is one who is asking, is it possible to do two exams at the same time? Then there is, uh, I don't even know how you would be able to do that, uh, practically speaking. There's another person who is asking, uh, can I share my Come again, Edgar? Is asking, uh, uh, the question is, is it possible to do two exams at the same time? And then okay. there's, an, there's another one who is saying, can I share my laptop with my friend if I don't have an okay. exam so that we can all both uh, do the exams? Then, uh, uh, there is uh, there was one more that has disappeared from here. I'm just checking. Yeah, I think mostly the other ones that are remaining are about school fees, and I will share something on that. As Dr. Arif, uh, answers the two. Uh, for the others are about what you've already said, how to register in the e-learning portal, uh, how to log in uh, into the management system and we have already a circulating message that guides that and if you can't use it to get in then there's also the support team that we have shared and we will again reshare after this this meeting so that you can just get on board and continue so there are those two questions Katari. then we can maybe Asante. open up for one or two yes yeah thank you thank you edgar yeah those are those are very uh, good questions that uh, uh, you prospective candidates are, are, are asking so uh, two questions there. One is uh, uh, in the event that uh, uh, can I share a laptop? Yes, you can share a laptop, but not not in the the active session. If you have a lap, if you have a, a class, I mean an exam now, and at eleven or later in the day, someone else has an exam, share the device. That's okay. That's fine. But of course, they must log in as whoever they are. If they log in with your, you know, some people save their password. So the other person just clicks and they think they have logged in. 
Kumbe, they have logged it with the other, the, the, with the owner of the laptop's uh, registration number. They attempt an exam and they are told, no, you cannot, ex uh, uh, you cannot check this exam. And the reason is you are trying to request a paper for which you are not enrolled. You may be the right candidate, but you are mistakenly you are using the wrong credentials. Other than that, when, there, when you'll be going through the, the stages of the respondents uh, proctoring tool, it will register your identity. Even if you, you, the other person also is doing that course, you will be registering your identity against another different registration number. So later when we are, we are analyzing the recording, we will uh, think that it is a case of impersonation because the person we are seeing doing the exam is different from the person whose registration number has been used to log in. So share devices, but make sure that you log in uh, as you, uh, because we, you, you shall present your ID. The system must visibly capture your, your face and the entire recording of, your, of you and your physical environment. And you even have to register your physical environment. When you are starting your exam, it, the, 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 uh, you will be requested to turn around the laptop 360 degrees clockwise and, uh, and, and up top bottom so that all that information is captured. So yes, you can use devices, but uh, sign in as the person who is doing the, the exam. Um, um, about doing more than one uh, uh, unit at the same time, one exam at the same time. The, 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 the timetable has eliminated those uh, uh, cases. But if they are there, kindly notify the COD urgently so that they can be eliminated. If you don't, you know, these are supplementary and special exams. If you don't speak up so that you get hard and that is a change, corrected. If you discover that on the material day, maybe some of you are not even looking at the time. then it will have to do uh, the exam. And you can, they cannot be simultaneous. You have to finish one, submit, sign out of that uh, exam, and then uh, start another one and, 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 and do. But uh, the system shall also, uh, we, 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 the, the system shall also have a challenge with, the, with that because you will be logging in in the middle of an ongoing assessment, okay? So um, uh, point out those issues now so that they are taken care of in the timetable. Once the time, final timetable is out, we shall have to work with it faithfully. And if you will be disadvantaged uh, because you did not raise this issue early and we put together our timetable based on that, then uh, unfortunately you may have to, uh, to, to, to accept, uh, you know, uh, the consequences of, uh, of, of a timetable that does not uh, uh, favor you. So like this particular person who has raised that, get in touch, post on that wall, and get in touch with your COD that there is a clash. I have this at this time and at, at this time. So that through the COD, the coordinator timetabling will be able to get that information and uh, make the necessary uh, amendments. Once the fin final timetable is out, that is our working document and we shall have to work with it faithfully about uh, uh, i think those are the two issues that were raised uh, sharing laptops and also uh, clashes on the on the timetable uh, the, those are one, very interesting there questions doctor yes, there, was, uh, doctor, there was one that you didn't answer earlier someone has just reminded me in the chat huh? uh, hey. that uh, he, he was doing a, the mock exam yesterday and then he was mm. locked out in the middle of the exam he didn't finish what was the reason uh, what was the reason? He has not given the reason. Uh, HP, could you just put the reason in the chat again, uh, if it indicated the reason? Normal. It's very normal for 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 uh, for a student to get disconnected, other than uh, being disconnected because of uh, internet or the device failing for many reasons or uh, uh, other such reasons. The, and every assessment has its uh, programmed time. So if that time comes to an end, probably you took a lot of time trying to, 
go through the stages of uh, proctoring requirements for, of, of, of invigilation that we have configured our system to take you through, you may have little time. And so in answering those simple questions, your time can elapse. But fortunately, if you have answered a question or a certain number of questions and you get disconnected for whatever reason, including internet or whatever, uh, your responses are already posted. During that time that you are connected, any, any, any answer, any response you provide is submitted automatically. So don't worry that, oh, I did not submit. No, no, no. Even if it locks you out, just uh, walk out of the, your physical exam environment, happy that whatever, you, you, whatever responses you provided are already in our system. So it's not at the end of it that you submit when it gets posted to the servers. No, it's real time. So any disruption will only disrupt you from there going forward. But any, any, anything you have done uh, before that is in our servers. So the device is uh, optimally, make sure that you have in, an, an uh, internet that is uh, reliable and make sure that uh, you use your time well and provide responses within the, uh, the recommended time so that you don't have to be disrupted as you answer. Have. Is there anything that we have left out or any new uh, query that has been raised? Uh, no, Dr. Ari, uh, mostly there's a question on fees, but I would like to share something on that. Uh, for those who have filled the link to be able to, you know, get their money is reflected, please be patient. Student Finance is working on that, both those who have KCB and, uh, and National Bank issues, and then uh, checks. Uh, with the help problem, I am engaging the Dean of Students Office, and we are going to see if we can figure out a way to assist those who are not able to have not been cleared because of one reason or another and the money has already been deposited in the system so just be patient probably by end of day we will have some sort of communication to assist on that uh Daktari, i see countless questions on calculations how can we do calculations how can we do calculations on the system without looking down i've seen it several times i thought you had addressed it with the science-based courses timetabling issue, but uh, maybe they require a little bit more than, than that. I don't know if you can share on that. Yeah, yeah, for any course that you will not see on the timetable, probably uh, you would be advised uh, uh, when, when you will do it. We are starting with uh, uh, courses uh, uh, that, that have been timetabled. So if you see that from your school, there are some courses that are not timetabled, it's not that they have been forgotten. We want to uh, complete this and maybe uh, have another phase where we can also conclude those that have uh, uh, that, that 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 have special uh, uh, that that require special means of uh, uh, supporting you to 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 undertake those exams. So let us be guided by the timetable. And also let us uh, engage with our CODs and deans. They will give you this information as to why a particular course is missing on the, on the timetable. Probably what you are raising about calculations and, uh, and, and, and demonstrations and the like, those will be, uh, those will be uh, answered there. They will also guide you on projects. Uh, the, the mode of assessing projects is different you will be assessed through this kind of engagement we are having. So I, I, I belong to a school and I have seen uh, COD and Dean making arrangements for those who had uh, issues with their projects also to, to, to have them sorted out. So you, you, you will get assistance on uh, how uh, some unique courses like projects uh, will be handled. Uh, if you did, you have a, a supplementary or something like that, if there is a course that, 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 that uh, is, is, is a bit, uh, uh, unique, uh, you shall get advice from CODIPS. Okay. Uh, but let's look at it, well, look forward to the final exam. Uh, uh, what is uh, uh, available for you to take? There's another question someone asked about desktop and camera, uh, how you can move it 100%, 350 degrees. That's what I said, that is good to prepare your environment early. 
if it is a, a desktop and you've connected a, a camera through the universal serial bus uh, port, then it means it is detachable. So you will move the camera around and for us to see every part of your physical environment. So um, uh, we, will, we will use it therefore to, to, you'll be able to do that. But if you see it is so constraining, then find an appropriate device. That's why we are saying, get a laptop. But if you have a desktop and you have a detachable uh, a camera, connect it, but connect it in advance, make sure it is that it is functioning and, uh, and, and so that you don't land into problems when we expect you to go through those stages uh, for us to know that you are doing that uh, exam in a proper environment. By the way, uh, uh, a lot of students try to cheat during online examinations. And uh, it is important that I mention this. I should have started with this. Please don't uh, try to cheat, all right? Because we are recording you 100%. And even when we cannot see what you are looking at, we can tell from your eyes how you are moving your eyes. If you are moving your eyes in a particular direction consistently, all right? Even near the keyboard, we can figure out. And we sh you, 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 you might be called upon to, 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 to explain why uh, you are not looking at the screen. And I think you have read those instructions we have uh, sent to you. Kindly just uh, remain faithful to them. And being is not close to you, the temptation is is, is, is um, uh, quite enormous, all right? But uh, the camera is even worse than a physical uh, exam environment because you can be sure that the invigilator has worked out. Here, the invigilator is there with you throughout. And if, oh, I'm sorry, I was going to forget that. But uh, we have cases that uh, are awaiting disciplinary that uh, invigilators have identified and the recordings are there and some students have been invited to explain. And when they come and see themselves, you know, they really feel embarrassed and uh, you know, you cannot, uh, you, you cannot uh, argue against uh, such evidence. So please, as much as you are working very hard to prepare, just do your work well and get whatever you that is due to you rather than waste more time and probably some disciplinary action that might some you know some penalty that uh, might take you a, a year or more to, to sort out so uh, i wish the cod's were here and uh, quality assurance probably that would have come from them more strongly but uh, just be be beware that uh, uh, and those of you who have done mock, you can see the kind of engagement you are having with the system, even without us being at your at your at your at, at your place. Um, I think Edgar, you can pick out uh, other critical. Uh, we'll continue to engage, of course, but uh, Edgar, kindly, if you can see something that needs our uh, my my uh, response, you can please bring it up. No, no problem, Dr. I am monitoring, I'm seeing most of the responses are recurrent from what you've already touched on. Uh, I see several people requesting for support on uh, e-learning issues, e-learning portal, and uh, I think we should uh, reinforce that message as we go back to WhatsApp and people to ask hands-on to point questions uh, with the, the support staff who are giving that kind of support, because it won't be easy for Dr. to try and explain everything on how to log in right now. You look at that process, you attempt it. If it fails somewhere, then you contact one of the support person uh, to assist you with that. It might be easier that way. So I've seen several recurrent questions on that, but other than that, I'm not seeing anything that is new that you haven't touched on. Um, diagrams questions, aside from mathematics, there's someone asking about diagram question. I, I understand. Uh, the CODs and the lecturers as subject matter experts uh, have um, taken into account um, questions like this while setting. And uh, I don't know, without divulging in a lot of information, I don't know if uh, Dr. Ari, you can, you can respond to this in terms of uh, 
yeah 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 so thank you again uh, edgar so uh candidates as i advised earlier uh, uh courses that you see timetabled have been factored in uh, uh if 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 a particular course requires you to draw diagrams with technology there is a lot of ways that that diagram can be can be examined so just prepare with the content, the learn, I mean, re go through it and, and, and be well versed with the content in that course. Concepts, if a particular course has been removed from the timetable for now, uh, probably there are arrangements for you to be examined at a later time, okay? so. Let us engage with the, our CODs and deans on, uh, on, 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 on some of those issues. But most importantly, be guided by the timetable because that timetable is uh, an effort of all stakeholders uh, from the technology, the CODs and, and the students when you identify those like clashing units and, and so on and so forth. So uh, let's, let's look out for the timetable, but if a course is, uh, has been timetabled and it has diagrams or math, uh, calculations, don't worry. Just go and uh, prepare well and uh, prepare your device and internet, show up, open the computer, and you'll be asked to answer uh, those questions. And there will be guidelines on how you need to answer those those questions so for now don't worry just uh, make sure that uh, the preparation requirements we have defined for you you meet them and read for 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 the for the for the exams that are coming but if you have issues you can uh, raise with the cod's who are uh, authorities in in the content that uh, you have been covering uh, uh, before and then for which you are waiting to do supplementary and special exams I think uh, I think that that's clear, Edgar. Uh, yes. Any other? Yes, Doctor, that is clear enough. I don't think we're beginning to have lots of repetition in the questions, so I think uh, we might have run out of the of the question. There are some there are some things, uh, our dear students, that uh, uh, some questions that you're raising that are uh, they, they can't be answered in this forum. They require consultative. Uh, answering from different organs of the university. So don't think we haven't seen them, we have noted them, and then we will engage with Dr. Ari and several other stakeholders in the university to try and see if we can find an answer. And whenever or whenever we find an answer that is worthy of uh, your action, we will be able to uh, communicate back to you uh, uh, to with that, with, that, with that answer. But uh, for just to... Uh, and give you moderate your expectations on this. Uh, some of you I know are in Kisi and are currently around the university, and you're looking for opportunities for you to come and do the exam from campus. Uh, what you need to understand is officially, as the president uh, announced, the universities and other institutions of learning are closed. So even if you are in Kisi presently and residing on your own, uh, uh, you will not be allowed to access uh, the university at that time because we are also in compliance with the presidential directive and also the directive from the management, our university management and the university council, and that cannot be contravened. So uh, you will not be able to come into the university because we currently the security that is we have at the moment is to ensure that we are all safe. Even staff have been told to mostly work from home. So uh, that's why it is a good idea to continue to uh, uh, communicate and engage uh, some of the support staff online because you will not be uh, you'll not be able to find them on campus they are we have a very moderated amount of staff in the university at the moment so uh, accessing the university won't be an option this you will have to uh, take up as your own uh, when you are wherever you are and uh, make arrangements to be able to you know get there and and, and have the system ready and take your exams from the comfort of your rooms or your homes if you are at home just to moderate your expectations there but Dr. Ari, by and large I think most of the questions have been have been covered uh, except one or two that we might need to share a little bit outside the forum and then see if there is a way forward that we can communicate or not uh, I think that's it Dr. Ari. that's okay did you say that there is a one or two who would like to uh, talk to us yes uh, from where I can see several hands raised uh, I'm okay. hoping I'm 
hoping some of the hands that we have raised are of questions that we have answered. So I'm just going to pick at random one or two to also uh, ask a question if the question has not been answered. So I will start with Tyson Obando. You can unmute yourself if you have a question and go ahead, Tyson. So thank you for the work you are putting in place, doctors. My question is that uh, some of the students who are putting for special exam, they declared their fee on year one semester one. Will they be will they be able to be allowed to for an exam and and or they must clear year two semester two fee? Full fee. So my request is that because the special exam was supposed to be year one, semester one, the student should be at least allowed to sit for the exam. So that's my question, Doc. Thank you. Okay, before Doc answers, uh, let's see if I can get a second one so that we answer at the same time. Uh, Joseph Yugi, if you can... Well, it's Joseph for you, but I can see it's a lady. So I think you're borrowing a device. So uh, you can go ahead and ask. I see your hand is your hand is raised. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I've noticed that while trying to do the mock exams, uh, logging in directly using the the locked lockdown browser, it gives you two options: whether you want to use the uh, examinations portal or the in learning portal. But all of those options do not allow, the logging uh, process is not successful. Some asking, will we be given specific links for our exams to click on and log in, or will we have to use this portal? And if we are using the lockdown browser, how will that issue be solved? Hey, thank you. Just hold that. Uh, Dr. Ari will answer you. Um, pick one last one, uh, Seth James. If you can hear me, you can ask your question. Yes, morning. Good morning, Seth. Yes, uh, my question was, uh, if is this mock exam, or even those who are going to do the end semester exam, or just for those who are doing supplementary and special exam? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Dr. you can take those three. Thank you. I will start with the last one, uh, the mock exam. Right now, if those if it's for those who are doing, uh, who are going to do uh, supplementary and special exams from next week, and that applies also to the Riaso, we are commencing uh, sometime tomorrow. But uh, uh, those who are prepared, those who are going to do uh, end of semester exams online, shall also have to do a mock exam and also rehearse in the examination system. But for now, uh, this is meant for, for, for those, these timelines are applying for those who are, uh, uh, you know, waiting to do uh, exams, uh, supplemented and special exams from next week. The second uh, question was on uh, uh, the examination system and the learning system. Uh, when, we, when you do rehearsal from the exam system, we will not need to, you not need to do, you will not have anything to do with the learning system. This is basically for testing your device as we, we, we clear you and, and admit you into the exam system. So it's, it's gonna be pretty fast. Uh, it will be single login to the examination uh, system. And, uh, and so you, you will not have to select a lot of uh, 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 options. But even if you have to, the examinations are happening in the examination system. So for those who are coming across that uh, option, uh, the mock exam is happening in the learning management system. And if you follow the link directly, uh, it, it will be able to allow you to uh, undertake the, the, the exams. But for the mock now, we have integrated respondents with both systems so that we can be able to uh, get you test your device on this other side as we clear you for the for the other one. Uh, the first question was on uh, fee payment. I think if I understood the student, he claims to have finished uh, payment for semester first, uh, first year and now wants to, to do 
uh, mock exam. Uh, the, fine, the, the, the requirement is you, you should be, you should have met all your financial obligations. The mock exam, the, the, the supplementary and special exams are being conducted now. So you should be cleared. You should not have any, any balances. That's, that's my understanding. But uh, if, if there are any uh, exemptions, then probably uh, you should uh, get direction from, 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 uh, from, from finance. But uh, you have a financial obligation to pay fees before you do an exam. And for you to do these special and supplementary exams, you must have cleared everything else, okay? So that uh, uh, this is also, uh, you are able to, to, to do this. In any case, the semester has come to an end for those who are in the active semester, and you should also have paid fees because exams are just a few, a few, a few, a few weeks away, a few, few days away. So uh, just, just clear fees if you want to be safe. Uh, just clear fees so that uh, your requests uh, to do some of these exams are granted without any problems. Otherwise, you might find yourself missing in the exam system and you want to do a supplementary or a special exam. Um, I think uh, that's that, but keep continue engaging with us. Actually, the finance person is also in those WhatsApp groups. So when you have an issue with finance also, you can raise it like you are already doing. I saw CIST. Uh, there were issues that uh, uh, the candidates raised, and they have since been uh, resolved. Uh, I think that's okay. As, as uh, Edgar said, we'll continue to engage. Uh, if it is a matter that uh, uh, requires our other organs of the university to intervene, we shall uh, engage and, and keep you posted. But I want to. Uh, advise you that uh, everything that uh, we are doing is in the best interest of the students because you're the ones who are going to graduate soon sooner than it would normally be because we are in a pandemic and so this is for your good it calls for some sacrifice but at the end of the day if it's going to be successful the person to stand on top of a mountain and uh, proclaim uh, happiness it is you so, uh, but of course we have an obligation to, to make it uh, as smooth as possible uh, for the student. A pandemic is a pandemic. I was uh, telling my friend the other day that uh, there's a time we had uh, a famine around the uh, 80s or, or early 80s, I think, or if not earlier than that, earlier than that, I think. And uh, in my village, some men, grown men now were sold to, to some place uh, so that their other siblings could uh, get food. What I mean is um, uh, you have tough times like this call for sacrifice. On our end, we are uh, doing our bit, We're doing everything that is humanly possible to make this work. So from your end also, we expect you to struggle with the device, struggle with the internet, struggle with finding the right place to do your exam, following up with the finance and other issues until you, your part is also uh, well covered. It calls for sacrifice. Just like those parents used to sell one or two members of the family, rather than let the whole family uh, come down because of uh, starvation. So anyway, that's some kind of analogy. You can reflect on it, but basically the message I am passing is, let's, let's fight uh, in the trenches for our own good. And this is such a good for, for us as candidates. I think uh, Edgar, in the interest of time, uh, if there is no other very burning issue, as, as I said, we'll continue to engage. I, we can uh, wrap it up. I think the deputy director e-learning is on board. He may it's want stuck. to. He may want to. Oh, the, Mr. Gordon, kindly uh, welcome and close any any gaps that I left hanging before maybe, we go off this. Maybe just want to reinforce. There's no gap left. Maybe just to reinforce on uh, issues of cheating. You have elaborated it, and uh, students just need to understand that the system detects any form of movement, whether you have put some uh, kind of Mwakenya under the laptop 
whether it is put on the screen, the system will be able to detect that. And on this, the witness is the system. So it may be worse than we have always gone through it. So make sure just your environment is okay. And the instructions that are given before you do the exam will actually count against you if you breach any of them. So just ensure you keep, if you really have to go to the toilet, you have to answer nature call. Uh, you still have to move out, but uh, at some point, you may just have to excuse yourself that you are going out for a short call because the system will be able to record any sound in your neighborhood. So just say I'm excusing myself for a call, then we'll be able to monitor and the system will flag that you are not on the system. So when it comes, we know how long it takes you. If you have a running stomach, it can't be like every after five minutes. So the system will be able to record each and everything. Don't allow people in your room. Don't allow people in your room because noise will account to be collaboration in an exam. Then uh, issues of installing softwares on our laptops. That is the lockdown browser. Most of the support questions have been around installation of lockdown browser. The lockdown browser will not work so well with antiviruses actively running on your laptops. Some students with active antivirus, you may have to disable them, if not uninstalled, just disable them for the period that you are doing the mock exam or when you'll be doing the mock. So just disable the antivirus before you proceed with your exam or the mocks. Otherwise, you'll get a lot of challenges. Uh, anything of firewall has to be disabled. Some were getting several errors, like the instructor has not enabled the exam. All those things are happening because of the softwares on the background. So just make sure you don't have any collaborative software in your system. You may need the services of some technicians in your neighborhood. Maybe as a technical team, we might not address everything, but you can consult any technical guy in your neighborhood just to ensure your system is able to access the platform. Uh, then when it comes to the bundles, Dr. talked about bundles. How much is enough? How much is enough? It is a question most students have been asking. Just make sure for an exam of two hours, you might not uh, uh, finish or exhaust your bundles, but just have something which is adequate, not less than a GB or thereabout. These days you can get a GB with either some little coins, but uh, just ensure you have data which will never take you through the full exam. But in case the exam or whatever there's an interruption of internet, the system allows you to proceed with the exam after you reestablish your connection. So that one, the system allows you. But as technical team will also be available just in case such a thing happens. But I want to encourage you not to panic. Panic is the worst enemy in an online exam. Don't panic, just uh, be composed, try several times, simulate some of these challenges and see how it works out even during the mock. Then uh, in case the exam fails, you can always do that. Then uh, issues of ELMS, that is the e-learning and the exam, Dr. has explained about it, but something just to add on, once you have installed your lockdown browser, in your laptop while you are on the e-learning, a learning management system, the same application will be used. You will not need to reload it again when you go for the mock exam. That's why I was measuring that uh, once you have tried your system on the e-learning, then when you get to the exam, it would be very fast. You will not go through the process of reinstalling the applications again, but you will just go do the preliminaries, test your environment, launch the browser and have the system run. And for those who are trying to access, uh, launch the lockdown browser, 
Just if the system asks you to close some applications and processes, please just end the processes. Some students are not ending the processes. So every time they keep on trying and doing the wrong thing. So when the system asks you before you proceed, close all the processes, just ensure the processes are closed. If you click the right button, it will close the processes. Mm -hmm. uh, questions have been coming up out that uh, we are unable to create accounts. Students, even on the e-learning platform or in the exam system, you can't create your account on your own. These accounts have to be created by the technical team. So as students, you can create account. I noticed the student on stroke 16 and some of stroke 17, they have been struggling so much to log into the portal, but most of them don't have accounts. We had created uh, some WhatsApp groups and I saw maybe School of Agriculture, they, had, uh, they were developing a list where all students who didn't have account were to put their details for their accounts to be created. So if you don't have an account, don't struggle logging in because you'll be it anywhere. So make sure you have an account. Then we have those who have forgotten their passwords. If you have forgotten your password and the email address is working, you can always click on forgot password and the email link to reset your password would be sent to you. In the event that you are not able to do that, communicate precisely. Just say, I've forgotten my password, even on the mm -hmm. WhatsApp, I've forgotten my password, I can't reset it. My logging registration number is this. Then the technical team will quickly solve the problem. If your problems are not well defined, then helping you takes us around circles. And you get like one student is engaging like five technical support at the same time. This is wasted energy. So just be specific with your problem and we will handle them very fast. Then uh, issues of Windows 8, Windows 10 and above. Uh, some students are still operating in Windows 7. It is not like uh, the technical team don't want you to use them, but those who are using Windows 7, there are so many updates that the systems are supposed to be given or rather downloaded. But currently Microsoft, who is the vendor or developer of Windows 7 is no longer supporting Windows 7. So any new application that is coming from now and, and later will not be able to work well on Windows 7 because Microsoft is no longer patching or providing updates for Windows 7. That's why we are encouraging all of you, if you still are, you are operating on Windows 7, make a quick arrangement of updating it to Windows 8 or 10. Otherwise, there are so many applications which will never run on that Windows 7. And that's why we are not bothering you ourselves to work with it. And uh, the first few questions we need to inquire, which operating system are you using? If you are using Windows 7, it will be a challenge for us to support you. So just make sure you work quickly and have your system updated to Windows 7. Uh, the issue of mock exam applying to everyone. Ideally, no. The mock exam does not apply to everyone as at the moment, because if it is for everyone, then all the 20,000 students will start struggling with the mock exam. And this will be so resource intensive, and we might not be able to support everyone. But we encourage, after the exams are done, that is the supplementaries, other students might start because these mock exams have always been on. And later, some of these uh, lecturers, some of your lecturers will start testing you even on the cuts using the lockdown browser, the exam environment. This is going to be very soon. And uh, some of them, as soon as uh, maybe we set you guys to use the lockdown browser, some cuts will be administered through lockdown browser. So anytime then we'll be doing our final exams, it won't be like a struggle that how a student logging in, it will be something you shall have known how to do. So for now, we kindly encourage, I know even in this meeting, we have students who are not going to do supplementary exams. We have those who are not doing special, but they're in this meeting. 
we kindly beg that allow us deal with those who are doing the exams so that we can have the resources to support them very fast. Then later, we can engage with other students just before we do the final exam. But for now, kindly allow us to deal with those doing special exams and those doing supplementary. So as you struggle for the final exam or for the exams that are coming, we will only admit students who have been cleared. It will not be your role to tell us that you have been cleared, but I think there's a communication that from the registrars and finance, we will get a list of students to be administered into the main exam and you will be advised on how to access. But for now, ensure your gadgets are able to operate on an online exam system. Otherwise, we are open to support and uh, give us the right requests so that we give quick answers to the challenges. Issues of student clearance when it comes to finance, as Dr. Terry said it, you must have paid all the fees up to date. Whether it was a year one exam that you are doing now and you are in year four, sem one, your fee by understanding ought to have been cleared up to that state. And I think this is the position of finance. You don't even need to bother ask them that question. Their position is a student must have paid for the exams that they are doing. I don't know whether they were special. Okay, people are supposed to be paying for the exams they are doing, supplementaries and uh, the retex or whatever. Ensure that you have, your account is up to date. Once things are up to date, you'll be good to go. Otherwise, other things we'll deal with them as we go along. Doc, I think that's what I needed to add. Asante sana, uh, Deputy Director, Mr. Gordon, for those uh, very insightful uh, uh, contribution on, on uh, preparations for the upcoming supplementary and special exams. I think uh, uh, that was rich engagement uh, with our prospective candidates. It's uh, half past noon now, unless there is a very burning uh, issue, uh, we can, we can uh, bring this to a close with a word of prayer from one of us. So I will hand over this to uh, Mr. Edgar to check if there is someone is an issue that we must resolve urgently before we wrap this up with a word of prayer from one of our dear students. Edgar, are you still on board? Yes, Dr. Ari, I am on board. Uh, and, and can just you see one or two very burning issues that uh, we do not want to regret not tackling before the end of the meeting? Uh, I, I, most are recurrent, but uh, there's a lady called Betty has really insisted she wanted to say something. So I would ask her to, to, to ask the question and then she will offer us the closing word of prayer after you have spoken. But uh, just to notify our students that this is not the last uh, webinar we are having. Uh, together. Uh, this is the first of several. The next one is on Wednesday. We want to see how much you engage with the system and then see on our end the results that we are seeing on your success rate so that it informs on what we discuss on as we continue forward. Based on the challenges we will get, we will know what to tackle and what to handle and even what to have on board. So we will have another one later on this week communicated again and then we will reconvene and see those who still have specific challenges and maybe if we have some feedback to give you from what we have also discussed we will do that then and then we proceed forward but at the moment uh, i will ask betty to, <clears throat> to unmute uh, ask her question uh, dr you will uh, briefly answer her and then she can uh, close uh, the meeting with for us with a word of prayer betty go yes, ahead good afternoon Good afternoon, um, I'm asking about those people who live in towns and when we're talking about the noise, the background noise, to what range does the system, you know, have issues with the, with the, with the background noise because you can really, you know, at that position, you 
ya ku tell the neighbors wasiongea ama the 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 businesses around so the background noise to what extent ama the range from the you know from the examination area okay thank you betty ah, okay thank you thank you betty uh betty anything you can hear the system can hear so um anything that uh, you can discern is loud enough for the system to capture because the essence is for the system to know whether you could be getting some help by someone talking to you about uh, the answers you are the questions you are trying to answer so any any sound that you can pick with your ears the system will pick and register it as a, as 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 a, uh, a possible case uh, to be to be investigated uh, a particular student tried to do an exam from nairobi one time city center he thought it was very quiet place but it was very loud and it was all red uh, but uh, you know it's something that uh, he could not control probably he found himself in town and he could not manage to to get out of town with the jam as we know it all right so that's why we are saying prepare yourself. Even if you have to travel and uh, stay with a relative who resides in a place that is calm, that's part of the uh, request we are making to you, right? Other than the device and internet, uh, make arrangements to have a, a, a calm, quiet environment uh, for your exam. So if you live in town, you can uh, find a way to get out of town uh, 30 minutes before, go sit somewhere else, even if it is a friend's uh, place. You can share the physical environment. You can do your exam from there between 8 and 10, and then you walk out to go back to town as the other person handles his or her a paper from 11, I mean, from as just as the timetable runs. So, so just, just make sure that you have a suitable physical environment. And any sound that you can hear with your ears during the exam session, the system too can pick it. Okay? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, before Betty prays, I hope I, I, I tackled her question Do, well. Doc, you have had tackled the question. Just to add on uh, what you are saying to Betty. Hello? Yeah, yeah, we can yes, hear you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's the issue of the background. The issue of the background is very, very important. You are doing an exam. Others would sit on their beds, they are sleeping and doing an exam. This is an exam. Just prepare an exam room and say, I'll be taking my exams from here. So the background is also very, very important. And the level of noise don't just get to a place where there's a lot of noise on the background that you are clearly going on. Like where she's talking from, the, it sounds very okay. There is no noise. We are not fearing a lot of noise on the background. But just ensure that room is an exam room. Don't just sleep, sleep on your bed, everything else. We are seeing all the earrings behind your back. People are seeing you. The public is seeing you where you are seated. So just make sure you are in a neat place, quiet place, decent place, presentable as an exam. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Deputy Director. Actually, the guidelines that we have provided to you on setting up your environment uh, captures those aspects very well. You have been advised to get a clean environment, uh, you know, free of sound, avoid movements in and uh, outside, make sure that the lighting is uh, uniform, don't don't, don't sit next to a window with very sharp light against the surface of your, the, the, the lens of your webcam. Uh, just read through those, uh, uh, you know, uh, guidelines we have defined for you about oh, your- Doc, you are just right. Just on that, before I forget, Doc, uh, a student, others would give their back. They'll put the screen facing the window. If you put the screen facing the window, there'll be a problem. You will not be able to go through. So mm -hmm. just ensure you are facing towards the window and the screen is facing you. So the light yeah. should be on your face. That is important. And those who are having specs, those who have specs, sometimes the facial recognition might be a challenge. Air, those with long air, make sure you tie it back. I don't know whether Doc said this. If you have your hair styles all covering your face, 
you will never go through. You will be bothering so many calls, the system is not detecting my face. So just make sure the air is tied back for the ladies. Men, avoid caps. These caps you are putting during the exam period, they'll interfere with the facial recognition. Those will be considered as attempt to cheat. So kindly just make sure your face is clear on the screen. Okay, Doc, you can continue. Yeah, yeah. And even when you are you're, you're going through the steps before you commence the exam, uh, if, if your face is largely covered and the system cannot see your eyes and nose and mouth and picture that as a human being, you'll have challenges. So you may have to remove your glasses. And once you're through with the process, you just wear back your glasses and continue with the exam. For our sister, our sisters uh, who are Muslims, uh, what do we call this uh, beautiful uh, cloth you wear around your heads? Hijab. Hijab. Eh. So the system will not uh, will have issues with that, unfortunately. So you you may have to 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 you know get your face uh, broadly showing. Uh, and so that you can be recognized. And uh, if you have long hair, you can tie it back. But if it falls over your face again, it will not recognize you as a, as a, as, as a person. And also the, the camera, if you tilt it up, it will capture your forehead and the rest of the, the, the face will be hidden. Again, the, you, that, that will be flagged as a, as a, as a, as a possible case of, uh, you know, engaging in examination malpractice because you could be coping. So when you, and, and sometimes you might do that unknowingly, or you may look up in the screen and so your chin is facing the camera and the rest and your eyes are uh, 90 perpendicular to the ceiling. ceiling. Yeah, but fortunately again, uh, as you are doing that, the system will highlight so you can, you can tell when you are straying and, and you, keep, you, keep, you keep your face straight on the screen. It's a little painful at first. You will feel like someone is forcing you to use to take a certain position throughout. But uh, just take your exam within the shortest time possible and uh, and, 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 and uh, stay out. So uh, that's okay, but we will keep engaging. And uh, when we meet, Edgar said we are having another session on uh, Wednesday 11. Uh, that's correct. And we shall also invite other stakeholders. We shall invite... Uh, 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 CODs, deans, those who will have time or their representatives and, and other uh, critical people that you might want to engage with. Today's meeting was uh, eye-opening, but of course we've covered uh, quite a lot. And so uh, let's look forward to, to, to further engagement, but don't wait for Wednesday. Sort out your issues uh, between now and Wednesday. Wednesday can just be, you know, uh, going through the preparations we've made and sort out a few cases not majority, just a few, a handful, one or two or three who have uh, special uh, cases that need uh, special uh, attention. So uh, uh, thank you uh, students, uh, you've uh, shown up in large numbers in this webinar. And uh, uh, I thank the deputy director and other members of the technical team and uh, uh, Mr. Edgar and, and every other person who managed to come on board today. Uh, this, is, this has been a great engagement and, and I hope that uh, you'll be able to be our ambassadors and, and get anyone who did not get this message, uh, get it. And of course, the recording also will be available for others to, to follow at a later time. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let me now hand button to uh what was betty, the name again Bet, betty, betty to pray for us hey, betty karibu utuweke katika mikono ya mungu okay okay let's pray i dear most everlasting god we thank you for this father that you've brought us we thank you for the meeting that you have been able to 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 have we ask you god that you may continue helping us to prepare for these exams and that we may all be able to undertake the exams. Be with us throughout the day and bless our days. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. As, you, as you go, some of you are asking, you're not in any WhatsApp group for exams. I'm just dropping a link into the chat uh, for a, a group, and then you can, you can join in using that link as you continue. Those ones who are asking for the WhatsApp. 
group link. Otherwise, goodbye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dr. Ari. Thank you, Deputy Director.